everyone, it's Anya here. I'm back with another video for Ophelia Talks and today we are making a shower poof. Uh, this is not a very big one. You can make it bigger and I'll tell you how, but um, I just thought this was a cute size uh, for us to make. You need cotton. Um, this time I'm using the Cotton DK uh, Classic by Stylecraft. It's a really nice cotton. It's uh, very smooth to work with. And although it says um, four on the label, see it's 100% cotton. Although it says four on the label, I am using a three and a half because I want it to be nice and tight. And you'll also need scissors and a needle. Let's just put that to the side. I bought quite a few colours of this. I can't remember what this one is called, but I mean, they've got such lovely, lovely colours, um, you know. I just chose this because I'm making a little set for a friend um, and I want to include a bath, a shower poof. So um, I've been doing my magic circle, but I'm doing it slightly differently now. I'm not taking it off my fingers anymore. So so that that's the circle. Um, that's sort of the cross I'm making on my finger. So this is the end. This is your ball. And it is so much easier if you don't take it off your fingers. See, I can even do it in the viewfinder of my camera. Look at that. Voila, it's done. So that's your magic circle. So if you want to see that again, you can start the video again or rewind it or whatever you can do with it. And we are going to chain one. So then you've got sort of two chains here. That's high enough. And now we are going to um, chain no, not chain. We're going to make a starting circle of 25 half double crochets. So half double crochet is yarn over into your circle, pull up a loop. So you've got three loops on your hook, yarn over and then pull through three. So you're working into your um, into your magic circle. Now the way I do it is I try to sort of hold this like this and make this tight so you can actually work into it because otherwise you're sort of working into nothing um, and that way I'm doing half double crochets into my circle and as you can see my circle isn't a circle well it's it is still a circle but it's really big so I'll pull that sometimes and just tighten it up a bit but it it makes it easier than having to work into that little hole that you're making um, you know of the other ones so I will count again because of course I've lost my count now and I will see you when you have done 25 half double crochets right so I have done my 25 half double crochets <coughs> and we are now just going to slightly close up that circle there's no need to close up the circle. You don't need to do a slip stitch here. So what we are going to do now is, first of all, we have to find our thread that we are working with, because that's just, yeah, okay, that's the one. I was holding on to the end there. What we do now is we chain up three, we turn our work, and we're going to treat it like a straight piece of work. So we're just going to go across like that, but in each stitch we are going to put four double crochets. So that means that, of course this is the first stitch, so that's another three, oh sorry, yarn over, into that same stitch, another three here. So we've started with 25. If we now do four in each stitch that means we're going to end up with a hundred stitches okay you don't need to count them here it, it, it is of no importance really but um just you know attempt to do four in each stitch obviously because you want to increase it and you want to make it nice and bulky so all you need to do is do four in each stitch and I will see you at the end of the row. See, I've lost my count already talking. Oh, one, two, three, four. Yeah, one, two, three, four. Okay, so 
off I go and I will see you at the end. So at the end, I will have done 100 double crochets. Yes, and I am using US terms because I get confused <laughs> and I'm just going to stick with those terms. Right, see you in a moment. Congratulations, you've just done 100 stitches. <laughs> And look how this is curling up already. Isn't that cute? I just love the effect. I mean, it just starts curling like this. It's unbelievable. Okay, so we've come to the end of our line. And once again, we're just going to one, two, three, turn your work, and we start again. So in every stitch, we're going to do four double crochets. So yes, that's right. So three in the first one, because we've already got that chain going up and um, and off we go again so at the end of this one so that's one two three four at the end of this row how many stitches will you have done yes 400 because <laughs> of course we've got a hundred we started with 25 we multiplied it by four it makes a hundred and now Oh, talking talking and now you're going to do 400 so this is a excellent project to build up your you know your sort of proficiency in your stitches just repetition of the same thing um, getting a rhythm going um, you know and all that and yeah you can you can easily be watching something on television or being in a sat in a cafe like I very often do um, you know go places do some things and just have you know have this little pattern basically up your sleeve for when you're not being um you know for when you have to wait somewhere all you need is a ball of wool and a hook basically and off you go and you're making a useful thing this would be ideal to make on a plane when you're going on holiday because obviously you arrive and you've got your own handmade shower poof with you <laughs> Yes, I think I might be doing that next time I go on a plane. <laughs> oh dear. I mean, you could change colours. You could have, um, you know, you could have cotton that changes colours for you. So you could have a multicoloured, so it, it's nice and, you know, colourful. You don't have to worry about anything. But yeah, I mean, um, talking. Ah, oh, yeah, there we go. Um to be honest, this is quite a quick project, although she says now, this these two rows were okay. I mean, 100 stitches is not too much, but I can imagine doing 400 would be quite, you know, but do a few, put it away, do a few more, put it away. You know, you can easily keep going over a couple of days to do this. Um, I'll show you the end result, but I'm just going to keep going, obviously. I'm going to go and watch something on Netflix, I think. And I am back. Um, it didn't take me as long as I thought it would. I'd sat down, put my uh, film on, and before I knew it, I was at the end. So I am now thinking I'm going to do the next row. So that means I've just done um, 400 stitches, because remember, we started with 25, multiplied it by four, that made 100. And so the, the row I just did was um, 100 stitches multiplied by four, so that's 400 stitches. And I'm really liking the way it is curling up. So I'm going to make this one more layer a, a bigger. So I'm at the end of my row, and I'm going to chain up three, then turn my work, and... I'm going to do another three double crochets into that first stitch and off I go again. This time my row is going to be 1,600 stitches. So I will see you at the end of that. Um, for you, this will be in the next sort of second you will be seeing this. For me, <laughs> it might take a few days. <laughs> see you later. Right, okay, so this might be one second for you. For me, it was a whole week. Oh my word, did it take me some encouragement to get this finished. <laughs> um, actually, it took a whole ball of cotton. So to be honest, um, this is quite a big shower poof 
and I don't think it's worth all the cotton. Um, you can do it smaller. These two I've done um, yesterday and this one I did before I did this one. And I think these are much more effective and much easier to use. Um, and this is just too dense as well. So um, yes, I mean, go ahead and do it. I mean, 1600 stitches was quite a challenge. I did it in the end, but... Um, I wouldn't recommend it as it took too much cotton, a whole ball, which meant I buy it for five pounds. So this poof, it cost me five pounds, which I think is quite a lot. Um, once you've finished your last stitch, you then go into there, go round, do a single crochet, then chain up however many you think you need. And I did quite a lot because I wanted a long, a long loop. And then just go back in there, do another single crochet then uh, tie it off, cut it off, then you have your two ends, you know, the one that you started with and the one that you um, just cut off. And then I just tie it a couple of times so that it's nice and tight on the inside so it's not going to come undone. But yes, I think, I mean, it was good to make it. It was good to see what it would turn out. I'm going to give it as a present, so that's fine. I didn't mind using uh, the whole ball of cotton for that. But for myself, I wouldn't, you know, this is too much. So this one I made to start with this was 20 stitches to start with a bigger hook and it's much looser as you can see so although this is fine for me or f you know for my husband to use um my personal design would be this one and this is like this one 25 stitches and then you work your way up in four so you go from 25 to 100 and then 400 so the 400 is the last row that's what i would suggest you do then you find your way in into there do a single crochet do your hook uh your loop do another single crochet and then tie up your ends and um i think this is perfect i made this with a three and a half so not a four but a three and a half and that um <clears throat> so this was with a four i think or a five even and this made it nice and tight. It's a tiny, nice little ball. And I think I like this very much. And I think this is a kind of size that's ideal to use. And it will dry, um, I'm sure, um, in a day in your shower. It won't stay wet too long. And, um, you know, it's it's economical because I can make more than one from a ball of, of cotton. So there you go. So, yes, it was an experiment. I enjoyed doing it. But I will not be repeating the 1600 stitches again. <laughs> We did this in my crochet club and the, the girls uh, really liked making it. And um, yeah, I hope you try it as well. Thank you very much for watching and see you for the next project. Bye. Mm -hmm.